Hi, my name is Dominic Casemore and I'm an apprentice jointer at SSEN. I chose my current career because of a recommendation from a friend who actually already worked at the company. After doing my own uh, research into the company um, and searching through their values, I realised that I could see myself fitting in here quite nicely. My job's quite a varied role, so each day I could be, um, one day I could be going onto a building site and connecting a new substation, um, which I find really interesting, or the next day I could be going out looking for a fault, which is why um, a whole row of houses has gone down. So yeah, it's really varied and that's probably one of the, the biggest positives of the job. My working conditions all depend on the weather, so whether it's sunny, snowing, windy, wet, whatever it is um, that day, that's what I'm working in. All my job is outside. Um, I go into the office very rarely. So um, yeah, whether that's day or night as well, obviously sometimes we get called out at night to a power cut. So um, yeah, yeah, obviously it'll be muddy, um, dusty, but uh, it's all part of the job really. Unfortunately, the cables are underground, so uh, that's where we have to go. So SSE have their own recruitment process. So once my friend had recommended it, I went online, did some research, uh, found their website, found their recruiting side of it, um, looked on there. And actually, once you go through the recruitment process, you go on to do some sort of tests, um, just general engineering tests, um, a bit of physics, a bit of maths, just to make sure that you could cope with the, um, with the maths and obviously the engineering questions that you'll be asked at college and that you'll be tested on, um, all part of it. So in terms of qualifications, uh, when I left school, I went on to college, did my level two in engineering. I then did uh, a bit of welding, a bit of water pump maintenance. Um, so all kind of around the engineering side of things, always keeping my toe in that really. Um, and then when I came here, I realized that the skills that I had from just again general engineering um, really applied on the academic side so obviously when we go to college um, a lot of engineering principles um, I managed to apply to the stuff we were learning about electrical engineering. In terms of skills I think as long as you have an open mind and a good work ethic you, you you'll be absolutely fine in this apprenticeship. Um, obviously if you like maths and if you like engineering, obviously going to help um, just because of the academic side of things. But for the actual job, as long as you're, you're good with your hands, um, you can read instructions, things like that. Um, and as, good, as long as you're good at working in a team as well, definitely on site, I'm always working in a team. You've got to have good communication skills for sure. And again, the work ethic really, really is key in this role. I think the best bit about the job is uh, the people I work with day in, day out, um, either on site or in the office, uh, my managers, um, just at SSE, they've just got a really good um, kind of family vibe. Um, I think the other best bit about the job would probably be actually getting people's power supply back on. So we could turn up to a job at two o'clock in the morning and a whole row of houses could be off or a whole estate could be off. and. Um, so I'm obviously there reassuring people that we can get the power back on ASAP. Um, and then when you finally do, whether that's an hour later or six hours later, whenever it is, it's a great feeling to be able to go and knock on someone's door and say, try the light switch, it should work. You should be able to put your kettle on now to have your morning cup of tea or whatever it is. Um, yeah, it's probably talking to the public and um, again, the family, family vibe um, at a company is definitely, definitely the best bits of the job. On the lines of the worst bits of the job, I'd probably say that it's something along the lines of when you're having to break up the road in the middle of the night when outside a house who isn't off supply, but you have to destroy their kind of path just to get to the cable and obviously we use road breakers or disc cutter, and, which are quite noisy. 
um, when people are trying to sleep, it's not great. Um, you're always feeling a bit, a bit iffy about doing that. But again, it just it just transforms back to the back to the good parts of the job because when you do manage to get that house that's it's only a single house up the road that's off supply, for some reason their supply comes on in front of someone else's house, um, it, it turns good again. So, but yeah, I'll probably say that's the worst part: disappointing other customers and at two o'clock in the morning, whenever it is. In terms of future aspirations at the company, um, which there are a lot of opportunities to take hold of, um, I'd like to go on and get some sort of um, engineering qualification. Um, maybe go go on to do a HNC. That would that would kind of be what my goal is. Um, in terms of actual job wise, I'd like to be able to actually manage my own jobs, um, whether that's project management on new connections or. Uh, network integrity, things like that. Um, overall though, just moving on up um, and hopefully having a long-term career here, that was kind of the aspirations I've got, yeah. So yeah, before I started my apprenticeship, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do as a career choice. Um, I knew it was around engineering, but I tried absolutely everything, um, whether it was actually hands-on skills, sales, recruitment, um, yeah, tried it, tried all sorts really. Um, it wasn't actually until I started this apprenticeship that I kind of had a clear path of what I, what I was one maybe good at, um, two what I actually wanted to do and what I enjoyed. Um, once you find something that you enjoy doing, it's it's absolutely amazing really. So yeah, I, I, all I'd say is that whatever you do, make sure that you you do enjoy it. Um, and that you give 100% to it.